Hey folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's Tools, Tips, and Talk, where we'll discuss info for the knife maker. On today's episode, by popular demand, we're going to cover this file jig. So this is a filing jig um, I use to put in the false edges in my knives, and I've had a ton of people ask me, how do I build one of those? So today you're going to learn how to build one. doesn't cost much, so come check it out. So let's talk about this. First off, what's a filing jig? Why do I need one? Sometimes the, you know, using a grinder like a 2x72, it, it just doesn't give you the, the perfect angle. Um, yes, you can get a, um, a bevel jig uh, for your grinder. I'm not a big fan of those. I don't use them for actual grinding. Um, and I think you'd be hard pressed to find one that would actually work for this purpose anyway. Maybe you do, but I just think sometimes doing it by hand is the best way. So this is a really simple construction. What I've taken is just a couple of two by fours, okay, or a two by four, cut the bottom, and then I just cut this other piece, just stripped it down a little bit. Let's take this out. This piece, so I've drilled holes in here and this is basically my angles it's not really precise but you don't need it to be I have this here this just comes off and there's a bolt and I can just move it back that will lower the angle uh, when I'm doing um, false edges it usually requires a really steep angle so I have it right up to the front okay so that gives you this this is simply just a caster, okay? You can buy these at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever your hardware store is, usually for four or five bucks. Take the wheel off of it, and then I, if I show you here, I just made a little piece of wood, I'm sure you could make these out of steel, and bolted that in here so that this kind of flexes back and forth, and then I just put a little steel tube in here. The tube is what's going to hold the rod, okay, this rod, okay, so you need that tube just to be a little wider, I think this is quarter inch, maybe, sorry, it's probably three eighths rod, and it just slides in this tube, okay, like this. Then I just used a piece of wood, I drilled that same 3 8 into there, I epoxied it into this piece of wood, and then I just took an old file, cut the end off of it so it wouldn't keep hitting this, and then bolted that in there, or screwed it in there. Um, and then I have this metal plate with two holes in it, I just put a little bevel here, Okay, so that that's where your blade's going to sit. And I put butterfly screws, butterfly nuts rather, on the bottom of this so it was really easy. I can just take a pair of uh, pliers and just um, put a screwdriver there and just tighten this down so this doesn't move at all when you're, when you're grinding. And I have two of them. And that, I mean, I just put a piece of tape around this end here so that it doesn't mark up the blade. So you can see it's a very, very simple construction. I put this in my vise. Um, when I'm not using it, I can just put it away. It doesn't take up any room. And then you put your blade in there, and this will be a constant angle. And you can just go up and down with your file at whatever angle you want. So really simple construction, guys. It, um, I think you could probably build this thing for under 20 bucks. Uh, especially if you got some wood lying around, you really just need a bolt uh, kind of handle. You could, you know, I, I happen to have this plastic handle here, so that's what I use. But, you know, you could get as fancy or simple as you wanted. Um, and I had an old file. So, assuming you, you have some old file uh, that you want to use for this, really, it's really inexpensive. So, there you go, folks. There is a file jig um, for file. You could even file an actual knife. If you didn't have a grinder and you wanted to put your bevels um, in a knife, you could actually do it with this. Put it way back, have that angle set, and put the bevels in your knife. 
So if you don't have a grinder, this is what you might want to do. It'll get you there. It'll require some, uh, some elbow, elbow grease. Since we're talking about jigs today, I thought I would add this little bonus. <laughs> this is a three-point jig for what I use to take out warps. Um, what I'll do is put a blade in here. These things, I don't have these loosened, but you can see there's a slot milled here. These things will move back and forth so you can change the, the pivot point. This bolt will just tighten onto the blade and apply pressure. The nice thing about this is um, I've done this for tangs. If I want to just do the tang, I'll wrap the blade in a wet cloth. I'll heat it up with a torch, do this, and then pour water on it. You might have seen that in some of my other videos. If I'm trying to fix the blade itself, I will lock the blade in here, and then I'll put this whole thing in the tempering oven, and I'll just take it through temper. I just did that for the Feather Bowie. Um, so really useful. Um, yes, you, I mean, you can make these by kind of putting it in your vise, but that's not something you can put in a tempering oven. It's okay if you want to do a torch temper, but then you got to be careful you don't ruin your edge. So another great jig to have, also simple to build. This is just tube steel that I've cut the top off of um, and then put a slot in. You don't have to slot. You could put a bunch of holes here, uh, just drill a bunch of holes. And then I put just these little pins here. So there you go, folks. Two really important jigs that I use all the time. Thanks for joining me on today's Triple T. I hope you found these jigs useful. Um, go make yourself one, uh, one of each. Check them out. They will definitely help you in knife making. Thanks for joining me, folks. We'll see you on the next one.